word again my wonderful community in this video we are going to be seeing how to perform this type of very flexible scratches using the keyboard how do you really get this done to flow along especially with the beat you are playing you need to understand that your scratches must follow a particular rhythm what rhythm will you follow you should follow the rhythm of the track or the beat you are playing so you are not going to be doing it randomly while you are trying to perform chop scratches which is something like this it means you are going to be cutting the sound along with the rhythm of the song that means you must understand the rhythm of the beat you are trying to play this along then the counting of the beat is also there in this case i have my own way of following it we have one two three four which i'm always emphasizing on which is counting of the beat but however yes this will make it possible for you to perform this type of scratches with smooth transitioning this is it so you can hear the sound so in this case we are going to be following the rhythm continue one two three four one two two three one two 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 three one two 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 one two 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 three one two 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 three i'm going to be performing it on the scratch look at it one two 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 three one two 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 three one two 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 one two 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 three one two 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 three so while you are tapping it while counting it you get to see how sweet it's going to be I believe you get to appreciate it. We will be doing a practical demo now. You get to see it in practice. This principle is also applicable even on your controller. That is why some people cannot perform this type of transformer scratch on their controller or whatsoever controller they are using, whether Pioneer or any other device. One thing you need to know there is for a lot of people, these DJ gears you are using, the Pioneer, the Denon, and whatsoever name you can think of or brand you can think of, you need to know that these systems are in their own way, they are just memory devices. Are you kidding me? That is the truth. Yes, yeah, just as your computer is just a memory device or your phone that you are using to watch this or whatever device is just a memory device what makes it different from every other device is the processor <coughs> once you remove that processor from it forget about it yes, your dj controller is just a memory device that has a processor <laughs> are you sure which controls everything and the programming of this processor yes that device is actually done using a computer you get it so that is why the concept i'm talking here is the same thing that is going to be applicable even on your controller that you are using wow. as you watch this video look at it this is just a memory device but once you put in a processor inside it becomes a full-blown computer let's go into the practice to get to see what we get to enjoy from this we are going to be following the counting look at it one two three four then we are going to introduce the hot key. Look at it. So you can see that little demo that I just did. So that is how these things operate. It's very, very interesting when you get to appreciate this concept I'm talking about here. For those who think they have to be counting 1 to 16, 2 to what? I'm telling you, when you use that, try this. Try this principle I'm giving you. See, before you, you know it, you'll be very good in what, whatever scratches pattern you are trying to introduce. That is why I try to make it flow with Go on at those days where you just go and begin to copy things and paste. You need to put your brain to work. That is the truth. So catch you in my next video. I believe you learned something from this video. And more will be coming if you are coming across this channel for the first time. Yes, we are actually on the right track. So check the channel. There is more that you get to learn from and you get to appreciate what I'm doing here. So thank you once again. The mapping is already there. A lot of features. I'm working on more things that will be coming up as time goes on. So don't forget to keep a date. You get to see more updates coming. Catch you in my next video. Thanks once again.